this is how to graph in a, a quadratic equation in standard form. So here we're given a quadratic equation in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is 2, b is 4, and c is negative 3. So maybe that's the first thing that you should write down, is that your a value is 2, your b value is 4, and your c value is negative 3. And to graph this quadratic equation, the first thing you want to do is plot the vertex, which is either the maximum point or the minimum point. In this case, it's going to be a minimum point because our a value is positive, our graph is going to open up, and therefore we're going to have a minimum point at the vertex. <coughs> the x value of the vertex is always negative b over 2a when your equation is written in standard form. So in this case, that's negative 4 negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So the x value of our vertex is negative 1. To find the y value, you just plug negative 1 into your equation to get y. So you have y equal to 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 3. Well, this is 2 minus 4 minus 3. 2 minus 4, this is negative 2 minus 3. This is negative 5. So our vertex is the point negative 1, negative 5. And we'll come over to our axes. Here I have an x-axis and a y-axis. Uh, I have a scale labeled. So we can plot the vertex. The vertex is at the point negative 1, negative 5. It's right here. Negative 1, negative 5. At this point, you just pick an x value that's close to the x value of your vertex. So maybe we should pick x is equal to 0. In fact, that seems like a pretty easy, a pretty easy x value to choose. If we choose uh, if we choose x is equal to 0, what do we get out for y? Well, plug in 0 here, plug in 0 here. In fact, both of these terms end up being 0, and we end up with the point 0, negative 3. So go ahead and plot that point, 0, negative 3, that's here. Okay. And to get the third point, you have to recognize that we have this vertical line that goes through the, the vertex, and this is called the axis of symmetry. And in this case, it's the line x equals negative 1. It always has an equation of the form x equals negative b over 2a because it's the vertical line that goes through the vertex. Then we take the second point that we graph, 0, negative 3. We walk 1 over to the axis of symmetry, 1 away from the axis of symmetry, and we get this point here, which is negative 2, negative 3. So now we have the point negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 5, which is our vertex, and 0, negative 3. After we have these three points, we can graph our parabola. And that's how you graph a quadratic equation in standard form. And that's math-tastic. <laughs>